A proper road race, and in the true meaning of the word. That was how Mr Monaco, the late great Graham Hill, once described this iconic event. The cars we drive have come a long way in the intervening half century, but still we race on those same public roads beside the Mediterranean Sea. There's no victory more coveted than that of the Monaco Grand Prix. Don't be surprised if we see a safety car at some point during the Grand Prix. And it's an absolute pleasure to be joined once again by Anthony Davidson. Why don't we discuss McLaren? What do you make of their performance so far this season? Well, the atmosphere within that team seems very positive at the moment. Everyone seems like they're in great spirits and having a lot of fun doing what they do. And that's definitely contributed to the performances we've seen. It's time to see how our drivers are stacking up after yesterday's exciting qualifying session. Max Verstappen put in a fantastic lap yesterday and he starts from pole position. And starting alongside in P2 is Sebastian Vettel. As we continue through the rest of the grid today, we have Bottas, Hamilton, Lucas Faber and Gasly, Ricardo, Raikkonen, Norris and Roman Grosjean, Sainz, Russell, Lance Stroll and Leclerc. Magnussen, Butler, Nico Hülkenberg, and Alexander Albon. Power and Sergio Perez completes our grid. And with lights out just moments away, it's time to go down to the track. No heroics into saint Devot, please. We're in amongst the pack and just need to stay in one piece. That's it for another Grand Prix and a fantastic win for Mercedes. Anthony Davidson, how do you think they were able to set themselves apart today? Well, this was a real team victory. They put together a solid strategy today that appeared well suited to the conditions out on track. The driver did everything that was expected of them in the moment to really execute the team's plan to perfection. A shining example of how F1 really is a team sport. And I can see the drivers starting to approach the podium for the victory celebrations. A real team victory today, everybody played their part. Congratulations then to Mercedes, your race winners today. Let's see how the driver's standings have changed. Lewis Hamilton takes over the lead of the Drivers' Championship after an excellent result. Let's focus on the driver of the day. Anthony Davidson, who do you pick? Charles Leclerc showed exactly how to manage yourself out on the track today. He was almost flawless out there. Incredible stuff. Let's move on to the constructors. Mercedes continue to extend their lead. Another team that will be satisfied with this Grand Prix is Alfa Romeo, whose good result moves them further up the championship. It's been an absolutely wild weekend of Formula One action. I can't wait to see what's next. Well, things didn't really go your way today. Really? Let's have your take. It was more like dodgems than Formula One today, wasn't it? That crash looked pretty serious. Can you walk me through what happened?
It looks like you've really been focusing on research and development this season. Great! Well, that's everything. Let's hope for a better race next time out, eh? Looks like Devon's also going to an upcoming historical event. If you choose to take him on, it might help get your name out there a bit.